What this is gonna do is create the most perfect prompts for you. This is like the ultimate cheat code when it comes to crafting the perfect prompt. That will allow you to create the perfect prompt for anything that you need, anything imaginable from AI images, video, writing, storytelling, anything. And it all boils down to OpenAI's cookbook, specifically GPT-5's prompting guide. Now, you can see as I scroll down this page, this is a lot of long information. <sighs> In fact, maybe it's going to be a little bit confusing for a lot of people, specifically the beginners, intermediates, anybody, actually. There's a lot of information, great information as well, when it does come to prompting. But are you, are we, am I, are we all prompting the right way? Everybody loves to have their point of view and what they personally think is best. And that's fine. It's exactly what works best for you. But the reason why I love showing you videos like this is because maybe this can open up Pandora's box to give you a completely new and impressive way to get that perfect prompt that you need. So if I come over here into this article, instead of reading the whole thing and trying to figure all this out, I'm actually going to give you an amazing cheat code. So the first thing we want to do is come up here at the very top and simply copy this URL. Now, the reason why we're going to copy this URL, you're going to see why in a second, because what we're going to do is use it to create the most amazing reusable meta prompt generator. What this is going to do is create the most perfect prompts for you, specifically based on OpenAI's chat GPT prompting guide, AKA prompt adherence. So now with this URL copied, let me show you exactly how this works. So the first thing we'll do, open up chat GPT. Here is the chat I've been working out of. Here's the first thing you want to do. What is this URL about? And now to make this a little bit more easier, I'll also open up a secondary tab and also do this in real time, okay? Now, there is my URL, and if I come back to my original chat, I just said, what is this URL about? And now let's make sure that we actually type that in ahead of this URL right here. Now, the next thing we're gonna specifically do is hit this plus button right here. What I did in my original chat is I used deep research, okay? Now, that takes a lot of credits. You can see I do have 24 left still. If I do do, if I want to try something differently with a little bit less, I can also just select a web search just by itself. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and generate this with web search turned on. Now, if I come back to my original chat, and now this is where I used deep research, that's why I have this column on the right-hand side giving me all of these amazing sources. This took a lot longer, but it gave me some amazing things. The first question, just to confirm, do you want me to visit the URL, summarize the contents, etc.? What I just basically said was analyze it thoroughly, even though I misspelled analyze, it's still new. Then based on the guide and prompt adherence techniques to use, in order in order to create the best prompts possible, provide me with multiple example prompts based on the advice in this guide. You can leave it at that, but if you want to take things to your next level for a specific goal, you could say something like this. I want example prompts based on the best prompt adherence techniques for three categories. Prompts for AI images, AI videos, and prompts for coming up with eye-catching YouTube titles. There we go. It analyzed the whole thing. Now you can see how long it took. It said it took 11 minutes from 11 sources, 11 searches. And now here we go. Your detailed prompt examples and analysis based on the prompting guide are ready. Take a look. Hit open report. Look at this right there. There it is. Right away, I get this prompting guide that emphasizes the effective prompts. Here are some prompts for AI image generation. Prompt one, the reason why it's so good. Prompt two, Another one. As I scroll down, it continues to go, okay? It gives me exactly what I want. Remember, three prompts for each thing, three prompts for AI video. Finally, three prompts for generating eye-catching YouTube titles. So there we have it. I would just utilize these prompts. It tells me what's so good about all of them. And then we could test these out in real time. Now, as I scroll down, you're going to see that we can take it to a whole nother level. I'll show you that in a second, because realistically, we're just really starting out. Things can get much more impressive. Now, if we come back to the other chat that we're doing now in real time, I didn't use deep research here. This was already done right away. I just had web research turned on and you could see it gives 
gives me everything right here. It does pretty well. It gives me the summary. However, I didn't automatically get those example prompts, but that's because my instructions didn't really tell it to. It just basically said, what is this URL about? So what you'd want to do next is similar to what we did with deep research turned on. I went ahead and pasted it in from the other chat and I basically said, based on the guide and prompt adherence techniques, give me the same thing. There we go. Now, this moves a lot faster, not 11 minutes. It's just instant right away. Here we go. Example prompts, prompt A. Okay, here it is right here. Pretty good, but not as organized and structured as I want. It, nonetheless, it still does a pretty good job, but I do think utilizing deep research on this one specifically does do relatively well, okay? But now let's go back to the one where we have deep research, okay? We're gonna go ahead and stick to this one because I do think this one actually did such a very good job. But before we go to the next step, let me first try some of these prompts out in real time just to show you, okay? Prompts for AI image generation. Let's go ahead and open up a brand new chat. Okay. Brand new chat is opened up right here. Here we go. Let's copy this first one. We get test this out in the chat GPT by pasting it in and now submitting that. Let's see what this comes up with. Here's a perfectly optimized AI image prompt for your description designed for photorealistic wildlife. And now there it is. There's the full thing. It gives me the optional meta tokens to use. Would you like 10 different style variations? Let's go ahead and generate this in real time. We'll head over into mid journey, paste this full prompt in. We'll also do it in free pick as well. Now in free pick, we'll go with 2.5 flexible and now generate this one. Let's go back over to our other prompts. We get prompt two. This one's gonna be a futuristic cityscape. This one's gonna be an illustrator creating a children's storybook cover, okay? So you get the drift. If you want something different, you could tell it to. But now let's scroll down to the AI video one, okay? This is gonna be a prompt generator and it's gonna be creating a cinematic travel montage, a science concept, a surreal short video art piece. This looks really interesting right here, okay? Let's try this one. Let's go back in the chat, GPT, new chat, and now paste this one in for producing a surreal short video art piece of the woman frozen in time. And now there it is, just like that. We're gonna get this full prompt out of sync, surreal time, freeze short, okay? And then at the very bottom, would you like this structured into a VO style Jason prompt? Yes, let's say yes, Jason. Right away we get it. So when this is done, we'll copy the code and then we'll actually generate this. And now with these videos done, look how great these videos turned out. Okay, now let's go back over to chat GPT, and now we're gonna get the prompts for generating eye-catching YouTube titles. Now, you kinda get the drift of how this works, so I'll skip this one for now, but you would just copy and paste the same thing again in chat GPT. Either way, one through three, you can see each are gonna act a little bit of a different way and have their different strengths, okay? So you would just copy and paste each prompt into ChatGPT. It's then gonna produce exactly what you're looking for for any specific subject. But here's where things really take the turn for the impressive part of it. Now, based on your deep research for crafting the best prompts, provide me with 10 prompts specifically for creating the most realistic photos ever in AI image tools. And then I said, make each prompt a different subject, style, mood, and genre. And now look, just like that, it gives me everything I want right here. All completely different, specifically curated and crafted to follow GPT's prompt adherence guidelines. And now look how good these actually turned out. And every single day when I'm driving by, catch my outside from my dogs, I will ride. Like a real gangster and a real G, it be me. Okay, last but not least, look at this, the question. Would you like me to convert these into a reusable meta prompt generator? What I said is yes. Now, if you don't get this question, just feed it these instructions. You can then say, just convert these into a reusable prompt generator. I said, yes, let's do it. After I provide the subject, I will receive 10 prompts of that subject, each prompt having a different style. And just like that, I get my prompt generator. Copy and paste to use it. 
scroll down and we can copy the code. But there's the full prompt generator right there. And as I scroll down, I get the example usage of this subject. And then here is an example output. Okay, we can also, based on this question, make this a reusable template in JSON format. But let's just go ahead and try this prompt generator in a brand new chat, copy the code, open up new chat, paste it in, and now let's see what this comes up with. Now, it should just ask for my subject. I provide it. There it is. Please provide your subject. Then I'll generate 10 elite photorealistic prompts. Okay, let's do that. Now, what I'm going to say specifically is this. I would highly recommend using this prompt to test out your AI image realism. The reason why I like saying a close-up shot of a 24-year-old woman, fashion model, luxury and glamour, is because usually, instead of saying something like man or just a car, utilizing these specific keywords are really gonna highlight how good of an image or hyper-realistic image this is because when I use these keywords, I'm usually going to get that close-up shot, which helps me detect realism. I'm also probably going to get some different styles of makeup, jewelry, different looks, and maybe some different types of fashionable clothing. All of these things combined will allow me to zoom in and see how good of a job that this actually did. That's why I always like to use for testing purposes this specific subject. There we go, a very easy but yet effective and impressive way to follow prompt adherence guidelines and you can use this for any sort of prompt that you want just copy that url and follow the instructions at the beginning of this video i think you'll be pleasantly surprised and again if you like this video please don't forget to hit that subscribe button until then i'll see you next time